my name is Jessica if you haven't seen me before and welcome back to my channel this is my YouTube channel where I love to talk about plants and just take you on the journey with me that I go through with my plants with that in mind I would like to just remind you guys that I am only a hobbyist and I just do this because I love it I'm by no means a plant expert or botanist or any of those things never studied it <laughs> and so Everything that I, I do say in these videos are just from my own experience. It currently changes and evolves as I go along. I would also like to just let you guys know that if you have had different experiences or maybe don't quite agree with something that I do say, then I would actually love to hear your friendly comments and opinions in the question box below and we can all learn and grow together at the end of the day we all do live in different environments different homes and so things are different and they are going to tra change from um, from person to person but it's awesome to share our knowledge with each other and our experiences and what we go through with our plants and we can all learn together so in today's video i'm going to be converting my variegated philodendron brown marks to leka Unfortunately, I have actually lost my intro video for this, so I sat down to edit all of this during the week because this video is actually meant to be going up tomorrow. I lost the intro video, so unfortunately it wouldn't make very much sense if I just can't went with it, so I'm just going to be doing a very quick little intro. The next video that you are going to be seeing is basically me taking the soil off of the plant in like fast mode. And then you're going to be seeing me talking a little bit about it. So yeah, the whole intro is gone. I'm not even sure what I said in that intro. So basically, I'm just going to be going from here into me fast forwarding, <laughs> removing all the soil off of my variegated philodendron brawl marks. So on that note, I'm just going to sort of skip straight into it. I don't think there's much that I maybe need to say about it. I don't have the plant with me. Well, I do have the plant, but I can't really show you it because I don't want to show you, you know, almost two months later what the plant looks like. I want you to only see that at the end of the video. So let's get straight into it. I hope you guys enjoy this video and I hope you learn a little bit about it. signs of root rot specifically over here you can tell that this root over here has rotted and some of it has already rotted off here as you can see with this thin little wispy piece please excuse my horrible plasters I was gardening yesterday and the shears gave me like loads of blisters I haven't really given this plant root rot I, I had a feeling I had what I did is because all my plants are in like and because I put the lecker balls on the top, when I first got it, I put it in my propagation box after I treated it. I ended up taking the pot, putting it in my propagation box, but to keep the humidity up in my propagation box, I have like a thin layer of water at the bottom. So this guy sat basically bottom watering for two days before I clicked and then pulled him out. So I knew I wanted to unpot it anyway and have a look. And there is a bit of uh, root rot. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to rinse these roots off I generally do it in the tap or in the bath uh, just to get as much soil off as possible I do not scrub my roots uh, as you saw I sort of like gently shake as much of the soil off while I'm sort of undoing most of the roots but this guy could definitely use some more root growth I mean he has a really happy healthy root system it is um, considering I've also broken off a few and there is a little bit of root rot. So yeah, we're just gonna get as much soil off as we can without scrubbing. And then I'm gonna pop it in water and then I allow some water roots to grow as I just find it's a much easier transition for the plant. But the nice thing is, it's, now that I've got it out, you can see how the plant, maybe from this way is a bit better, has quite a long stem. It's got this section branching off here, which was cut. But both of these, oh no, they're not. Okay, one leaf from there is variegated and one leaf 
Oh, and the other leaf from there is variegated. But then what it has proceeded to do is it's grown out this section over here. I'm gonna try to show you guys more than my face. Um, so then he's pushed out over here and he's grown out from this way and from this way and then still up here at the top. So we've got three sections coming off this area here. And what I would like to do is cut one of these bits off, but I am worried because they are very on top of each other. So I'm gonna rinse the roots and then decide again what I wanna do. Either that or what I might do is once I've popped it into the jar of water, I might actually put some sphagnum moss around this little section here and wrap it up. I think that's what I'm gonna do. And the reason why is because then these roots can grow while these roots are also growing and the plant can potentially be getting a little bit more nutrients while it's kind of struggling. So we, we're giving it, you know, just a little bit more extra. And then once I pull that off, the sphagnum moss before I put it into Lekka, or yeah, I'll check it before I put it into Lekka, decide if I'm gonna cut it then or if I'm gonna leave it to carry on growing a little bit more, growing a little bit more roots. I'm going to show you guys in a quick little time lapse again of me rinsing out the roots and then how much I'll sort of take off before I, I put it into the water. The water I'm going to be leaving it in will be rainwater. So I will catch you there. turned out you'll probably think that in the video it potentially does look a little bit too dirty still like it has quite a bit of sand still on but these roots are actually very very clean and quite white I know you can still see chunks of dirt this is why I leave it in water in order to grow some more water roots I would prefer to leave it like this and not have to use my nail or a toothbrush or scrub then do that and put it straight into Lekka. So if I was going to be putting it straight into Lekka, like I wouldn't do it now because I would probably end up with a lot more root rot. But for the way I'm going to be doing it, this is perfectly fine. I don't want to give it too much more today just because it's, I did cut off some, some root rot, not much. So I'm quite chuffed with how little root rot there actually was, considering like I thought there was gonna be a little bit more. I would have liked to have put hydrogen peroxide just a tiny bit in with this, but unfortunately it's finished. I looked everywhere for it and I couldn't find it. So what I'll do is when I, when I wash it again in like a day or two, probably more like two or three, then I will give it a little bit of hydrogen peroxide as well then. And what I'll probably do then is give it another good rinse, try to get a little bit more soil off, and I might even do the leaves, um, use the opportunity just in case there are any bugs or what have you, which I doubt, but I'll give the whole thing a little bit of a bath. But for today, uh, that's all I'm gonna do on here. Okay, so we are about two weeks in, and I just wanna show you guys something quite cool, um, or what I'll wait for before I start considering then moving it over to Lekka or actually potting it in the Lekka. Excuse all the mess behind, but Cam filmed yesterday, so all of his equipment's out. I've changed the water, in this twice already so now will be my third time but I wanted to show you exactly what I'm starting to look for and this plant is just a great example of it because it's such a quick grower I'm like really really chuffed with this plant just because if um, you look this is a brand new leaf and it's getting a nice beautiful leaf you know at that and it pushed that out just in water and after being taken out of the soil it's also pushed this one out which is a plain green one there is no variegation but what I do want to show you is all of the new growth so all of these little white 
roots and even over here is all new happy healthy growth if you look over here this is some rotten root perfectly fine not stressed about this is one that's just broken off um, I didn't break it off it was just sitting there so it would have rotted but what I generally do is at this point I'll just feel around and feel if I can feel anything rotting and anything that has rotted I will cut off I could have sworn that there was some rotten roots on it this morning when I had a quick squiz I had a quick look at it and I could have sworn I saw rotten like some rotting root and that's why I wanted to actually really show you guys this because I wanted to show that some root rotting really isn't anything to be concerned about that's the point of actually having it in the water first is that anything that rots off was going to rot off anyway so rather have it rot off in the water than in the liquor where it's then going to be sitting rotting away and it can potentially cause rot on some of your other ones and i would rather do it this way let it start growing some new fresh roots in water and any roots that are rotting or you know going to rot to allow to rot and cut off and let that happen before it goes in liquor but as you can see i mean those are really gorgeous new happy roots and that's only two weeks so obviously this plant grows a lot quicker um it's all going to depend on the plant you have and what you're converting over but honestly once you start seeing some some good root growth you can convert it straight over to liquor in my experience i am going to leave it in water probably for another week and the reason for that is i just want to see and make 100 percent sure that no more roots are going to rot off there's this one over here that hasn't started i have a feeling it might so i'm just gonna leave it and see I mean, you could always cut it off if you do think it is going to. At this point, I mean, it has more than enough roots to, to uh, sustain the amount of leaves it has. Happy, healthy, beautiful roots. And because it's in quite a nice, humid environment at the moment, and it's got the water right below it, look at all of these new aerial roots coming. So when I do decide to propagate this, um, and to separate it up it'll be a lot easier and a lot less stressful to cut off all i'm going to do is change the water as you can see the water is still clean i changed it last week um, and it's not in direct sun but i just prefer to yeah make sure that i change the water pretty frequently i don't know if you guys have seen converting my anthurium to lecker and I know that that is quite diff very, very different to this. The root system is very thick and juicy and because of that, they do store a lot of water. But the potential of those getting root rot are a lot higher than this. But that plant got a hell of a lot of root rot because I just didn't change the water very often. Let, let it go for too long in a sunny spot. So now I'm just quite pedantic. I just clean the, the water vessel out with some hot water and give it a rinse and add some new water and the water that I'm putting in is honestly just rainwater with nothing in it just normal rainwater that I'll fill back in here and then put the plant back next weekend which will be in another week I will probably pot it up into liquor looking awesome so I'll show you guys what he looks like when I pot him up. I'm really excited because we are now going to be moving our bro marks into Lekka. Since you guys last saw, I don't know if you saw this new leaf that came out, but I'm going to show it just in case. How stunning is this new leaf? Okay, so everything looks a little bit um, bashed because I actually just put it in the, in the bath and I used the like shower head piece you know that handheld like sh shower piece and i just sprayed it off on the highest pressure in between every nook and cranny because now that i'm about to put it in liquor 
it's sort of the last little chance to really make sure there's no bugs on it, spray it, um, obviously because it's in liquor it's quite easy to, to do that at a later stage if I need to, but I have had thrips before and ever since then I'm just paranoid, uh, so I like to just try to do as much pest prevention as possible when I can. Um, so this is a really good time to actually just spray in between all these little bits, all these little nooks and crannies as possible. And I'm gonna just show you these aerial roots that are, that are starting to form. Look how beautiful all of these roots are. We have loads of new water roots and this is exactly what I like to see before I convert to liquor. There is still soil on the roots, as you can see, and that doesn't really worry me too much. I haven't noticed that it causes too much issues on my plants. The fact that I have so much new growth is more than enough to give me confidence in putting this in liquor now. I have got a little pot that I'm gonna be putting it in, and the net pots, I'm not the biggest fan of the net pots, especially for something that's roots actually grow as quick as this. Does. I mean, I think it's only been two or three weeks since I actually put it in the water and I mean that's a hell of a lot of root root growth but I do like like seeing the roots if I can so something like this or a clear pot uh, really is my favorite and it doesn't fit it perfectly it's also just a little bit too big but then the nice thing is is then it actually creates quite a nice reservoir at the bottom so now i'm going to do the noisy part and i'm basically going to put a load of liquor in the bottom um, i have my pot of liquor here that's just pre-cleaned i know you guys can't see um which is not helpful but i'm wondering if i can do something to make you guys that you guys can see. Putting the liquor in. I will normally put, you know, like a one third layer of liquor. And then I will put the plant. See how it's sitting. I'm gonna put some of these aerial roots in if I can. The only problem with Lekker is it doesn't really hold the plant very sturdy until the roots start to grab on, unfortunately. it up now and um, hopefully we can encourage some more growth this way we'll see what he looks like underneath the grow light if he starts holding himself up lifting all these leaves up a little bit better but there's a very very cute little variegated like a nice really sectorial variegated leaf if you can sort of see it it's got like a really beautiful sectorial variegation and that one's just just opened and he's really 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 cute I don't know if I'm being stupid. A uh, much better way of showing you. Okay, so look how cute that sectorial variegation is. It's really, really, really cute. And he's just unfurled. So it'll be interesting to see if I get any more like that. Um, then before I forget, we do need to put in some water. And what I'll do is I'll just run a bit over. Then I'll lift it up and check the level. And that level is maybe a little hard, but it's fine. It was growing in water, so it's not gonna affect it too, too, too much. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys what he looks like in a month. If I have any issues um, before then, I will update you. It'll probably be three weeks to a month. Generally, philodendrons are a lot easier to convert to liquor. That's why, obviously, the root growth here was absolutely incredible. It has now been three weeks since I put the pearl marks 
the variegated philodendron burl marks into leather and it's kind of been just over a month since the whole process started since I first pulled it out of soil and I have my little co-host today if you're wondering what those little ears are it's a little bean pie hey okay so I'm going to show you guys the condition that the plant is in at the moment and we have some really cool new growth so the last video I showed you we had gotten this leaf and we had gotten this leaf over there since then we've gotten this really awesome half moon there goes the letter how incredible is that leaf I'm so chuffed with it and then we've gotten quite a few other leaves that are a little bit smaller that are coming from other growth points so we've gotten this one and we've gotten this one which isn't showing too much variegation but it still is showing some which is quite cool um, we've got it on this side which doesn't really have much variegation but we've got it a new leaf over there he doesn't have any variegation and um, this I'm sure is also a new leaf there's a lot of new leaves coming and if you look in the middle you know down there there are loads of new little leaves coming as well this one's gonna be this one over here looks like it's gonna be all green but it is on the all green side but loads of growth and loads of aerial roots happening as well it really has done super well since it's been put in lecker i'm going to show you guys what the roots look like this is how crazy these roots have gotten in three weeks in the lecker and this is the one thing that i really don't like so yeah i think wants to play with these roots now oh that's a big stretch baby you're gonna lie down, Pa. You're in the middle. Okay. Now she's lying right in front of the camera, so if she does not get, I apologize. So, oh, and excuse my extremely burnt shoulders. I was at the yard this morning and I put face cream, uh, sunblock on my face, but not my shoulders. So that wasn't smart. Um, so I got burnt from being at the yard. So what I want to do now is I definitely want to move it out of this neck pot. It's becoming a little bit tricky taking it in and out of the pot because as you can see the roots get squished on the side and it is a bit of a mess. It's super easy to break the roots. As you can see, there's already just over here a root that has just been broken off at the end. And that's purely from it not fitting into the pot nicely because all the roots are coming out. So I'm going to be putting it into a slightly bigger pot. It's not much bigger. I'm going to be putting it into this clear one. And then I'm going to be putting it into this pot. Which I'm not sure if I'm going to like it in this pot. But I can always go get myself another one. Yeah. Hopefully he'll grow nice and big quick enough. So I won't have to worry. I'm not going to rinse the lecker or clean the lecker because there isn't any root rot or anything like that happening. So I should simply be able to just pop it into here and move on from there. But I'm going to fast forward through this again because you guys don't want to hear lecker falling. big ones so that's a pity give him some nutrient water and then pop it back into the grow cabinet this plant I'm probably going to end up taking out of the grow cabinet once it gets a little bit bigger I have plants that are beautiful like this and can get away with being in more common areas I try to do that so while I've been converting it and stressing it out and not that it got too stressed out but while I've been converting it and that I, I wanted to give it everything I possibly could to make sure it was perfect now I'm going to probably, you know, think about considering moving it, especially 
if I do get a few more anthuriums over the next few months, which I'm probably going to do, then I would want to make the space for the anthuriums in there. We're going to pop them in this pot, bash everything, and that's what he looks like. So, not my favourite pot. I'm not sure why I don't like it. I loved it when I bought it, and all of a sudden I'm not the biggest fan of it. I don't think I like the way the plants look in it for some reason. I don't know. And then this is just pre-mixed nutrient water. I've been giving a nutrient water for the last two weeks. Yeah, I think the last two weeks. his best laugh in Lekka. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you did enjoy it. I hope that it gave you maybe the confidence to move one of your philodendrons over to Lekka if you've been thinking about doing it. Obviously, Lekka is not for everybody. And if you do, I'd love to hear about it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really do hope that you learned something from this video and I would love to get your feedback and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye guys.